हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एक्सप्लोर फिजिक्स लेट्स एक्सप्लोर इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन टाइप्स ऑफ इमेजेस एंड इमेजेस फॉर्म्ड बाय अ प्लेन मिरर अ कॉन्केव मिरर एंड अ कॉन्वेक्स मिरर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द इमेज फॉर्मेशन बाय स्फेरिकल मिरर्स सो विदाउट फर्दर डिले लेट्स स्टार्ट द क्लास सो image formation by a concave and a convex mirror so first we'll talk about different rays actually there are four rays uh and out of this we are going to take if you're going to take any two rays wherever they intersect the images or the image will be formed there so i'll be talking about all the four rays and you will see which ray or which two rays you are going to take so the very first ray i'm going to take is when the ray comes parallel to principal axis so we here we have a concave mirror p is the pole of the mirror say so this is c the center of curvature you know that cp is equal to r the radius of curvature the cp is equal to r radius of curvature so i'm going to explain you the first ray which is coming parallel to principal axis and after reflection goes through f where this f is let's make it a little darker so this f is referred as this refer this f is referred as principal focus i was waiting for this point to come to explain you that the ray which comes parallel to principal axis goes through a point after reflection which is it's called principal focus of the mirror there is one more relation when cp is equal to r then we have this fp which is referred as focal length shown by small f this fp is half of cp so if cp is equal to r then we have fp is r by 2 so we have fp that is referred as small f is equal to r by 2 this is half of the center of curvature if this is r radius of curvature sorry that's uh, it was radius of, uh, of curvature so fp is referred as focal length of the mirror shown by small f here this and here cp is referred as radius of curvature so this fp is half of this cp or small f focal length is half of the radius of curvature so fp which is referred as uh, small f is equal to r by 2 so this is all about the principal focus and the relation between the principal focus and radius of curvature so let's come back to the main point one ray which comes parallel to principal axis this is the incident ray after reflection goes through f don't forget don't ever forget to put the arrows or the direction of the ray so here we have oh sorry so it again it's become a little clumsy so here goes back after reflection like this so this is one ray which i may take to draw the ray diagram the second ray is here the second ray is when the object is just opposite to that when the object is at f or we are taking considering one ray it's emerging from f so this again same thing we have p pole here center of curvature say this is f principal focus so now just opposite here 
coming from uh, coming to uh, coming parallel to principal x is going through f here it is emerging from f and after reflection goes back parallel to principal axis so this is the ray which goes back like this so here we have what the ray which comes times becomes difficult so here after reflection it goes as parallel to principal so this is the second ray so in the second ray the ray emerges from f the principal focus strikes the surface here and goes parallel to the principal axis after reflection this is the second ray now third ray i may consider again same thing we are going to show here our concave mirror say this is p pole of the mirror same thing i am going to draw here the center of curvature this is f so here there is a ray, ray which goes through c comes back after reflection in the same path there is no deviation so we have the third ray which goes through c and comes back without any change comes back or follow the same path how does it happen if you recollect i have explained you in the previous class that according to the law of reflection angle i should be equal to angle r and i'm telling you that this strikes at this uh, mirror at 90 degree so what was the, what is the angle between the normal and the incident ray zero because if you recollect the angle of incidence was the angle between the normal and the incident ray here itself it is striking at normal so angle of incidence and angle of reflection here in this case is zero degree so that's why there is no change in its path it comes back in the same direction that is the third ray now fourth ray i'm going to take here where the mirror is this our concave mirror and here we have the pole again the line which goes through cp is the principal axis and here this is the principal focus so this strikes here the fourth ray which i'm talking about strikes at pole p the pole comes back this way making the same angle which is equal to angle i so here we have which obliquely strikes the point p the pole of the mirror and comes back like this so we have four rays 1 2 3 4 out of these four rays i may take all the four or any two minimum two i have to take where they are going to intersect there the image is formed i uh, if i'm going to take all the four rays in a ray diagram it will be very clumsy it will not be the proper illustrations of the situation so i may take only two rays to plot or to draw the draw the ray diagram to show the image formation by any of the mirror this is all about the image the rays which i'm going to take, take to draw the ray diagram in the case of concave mirror if you see all four days i have taken or i have explained you for a concave mirror i'm again explaining you one more time one when the image coming parallel to principal axis strike at any point and goes back through f so ray comes principal uh, parallel to principal axis goes through principal focus f second ray evolves or emerges from f after reflection goes parallel to principal axis that is the second ray third ray which goes through c and without deviation goes back follow the same path the reason i have given you here
because it strikes at 90 degrees so the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection that is zero so this is the third ray and the fourth ray is when obliquely it strikes one a ray strikes at p comes back after making the same angle of reflection comes back in this direction so i'm going to take any two rays to draw the ray diagram i've explained you this also children that cp is referred as radius of curvature i'd explained you in the previous class and fp as the uh, focal length usually referred by small f and this fp is half of radius of curvature so fp is equal to small f is equal to r by 2 this is all about the rays I have taken for a concave mirror. I am going to explain you the rays for convex mirror also. I hope it is clear to you and do like the channel. If you like the content, please subscribe and like the channel. Now I am going to tell you about the rays taken for image formation for a convex mirror. So this is P. the reflecting surface is bulging out i'd explained you in the previous class the c center of curvature is behind the mirror here because this is the part of a sphere whose center lies behind the mirror this way if you remember so this is the principal axis so again here the same thing the first ray which i have taken for the concave mirror i'm going to take the same ray here also what is the difference in the ray diagram or for the image formation here here uh, students the ray which is coming parallel to principal axis strikes at the mirror and goes back like this please remember the difference between the ray diagram or the image formation so after reflection goes back like this if you recollect there the ray which was coming parallel to principal axis was going through F. Same thing happens here also. So if this is say F here, half of this. So so if this is the F, F here, so it goes like this this also will pass through f so the ray for a convex mirror when it's which is coming parallel to principal axis strikes at the mirror goes back if you produce it backwards it appears to come through it goes through f that is for convex mirror the second ray i may take for convex mirror is see here say this is P again say this is C here say this is C and this is half of it F so one ray which is obliquely strikes here goes back like this striking getting reflected back making the same angle equal to r so here we have the second ray i will take to draw the ray diagram for a convex mirror the one which obliquely strikes at p and goes back like this in the case of convex mirror the third ray i will take is the one which after reflection without any change goes back through C only. So here we have C is behind the mirror. So the ray goes and appears to come back the same way without any change so this is the third image i may take 
so here we have the three rays for a concave mirror these three rays again i am going to take any two just to show where they intersect the image is formed there so this is all about the uh, rays which i am going to take it for the further ray diagrams one more thing children if you remember this again is referred as principal focus the same thing remains here pc is equal to radius of curvature pf is equal to small f the focal length which is equal to r by 2 half of radius of curvature now if you see the difference between this diagram and the diagram which i have shown you for the concave mirror this was like this so there it was going through f if you recollect the very first ray which i have taken so what is the difference between the ray diagram or the principal focus here and for concave mirror in concave mirror it actually goes through f the ray and the incident ray which is coming parallel to principal axis whereas in the case of convex mirror it appears to go through f so this is the only difference here in concave mirror it actually goes through f and here it appears to go through f this dotted line showed like that that actually this was going the incident was ray was going like this but here we had produced showing that it goes through f so this appeared to go through f and this actually goes that is the difference between the ray diagrams for convex and concave mirror stay safe stay healthy and a very big thank you to you all